In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text behind somebody right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a brand new sequence created, you first want to start by just dragging some footage onto your timeline. So as you can see, I've just got this shot of me just jumping off this wall. Now my vision for the effect is I want the text to be around here and I'm gonna start with the text in front of me and I'm just gonna jump over the text. So when I'm coming in here, the text will be behind me. So in order to do that, we first want to create a brand new title. So I'm just gonna find the point where I'm at my highest. So that's around here. Then I'm gonna go into file, new, a legacy title. We'll press okay on this window. And then from here, I just want to create a title. So we'll select the video and we'll just type out some text. Of course, you're welcome to go ahead and adjust all of these settings and adjust the text to however you want it to look. But once you're happy with the look of that and it's roughly in the place where you want it to sit, then you just want to leave the legacy title window and drop title onto video layer two. Then I'm just going to extend the duration of that over to the right. And there we go. We've got our text in front of me and then I'm going to jump over around here. And on the second half of this video, this is where it's going to be behind me. So from here, we want to go ahead and we want to copy the jumping layer. So I'm going to select video layer one. We'll hold option on the keyboard. I'm making sure that you keep option selected. You want to drag the video on video layer one up to video layer three. Perfect. Now from there, I'm just going to turn that off. So I'm going to press the eyeball icon. And essentially with this video on video layer three, this is the part of the video that's going to appear in front of the text. So I only need this to start at the point where I'm going to jump in front of the text. So at this point here where it should be in front of me, I don't need that bit because it's just going to cover up the text. So I'm just going to go to the point where I'm in the air. That's around here. And I'm just going to press C on the keyboard to load the cut tool. And then I'm just going to delete the first part of that video. Now from here, you want to scroll through your video and find the point where you pass the text and you no longer are in front of it. So in my example, that is around here. And then from there, I'll press C, make a cut where the cursor is sitting, and then I'll delete the second part of that video. So we've basically got this really short video currently sitting on video layer three. And this is when you're interacting with that text. You're currently in front of the text. So from here, I'm just gonna zoom into that part of the video. So I'm gonna press fit, go to 200%. In fact, no, I'll go to 400%. And then I just want to go up to the pen tool. So I'm going to select the free draw bezier and I'm going to go to the point where I first hit the text that is here. And I'm just going to draw a mask around the part of me that is covering the text. So I'm just going to go over this part of me, just draw this mask here. And then I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Now I'll move one frame to the right and I'll do the exact same thing again. So we'll just update the position of that keyframe so that now this mask is covering the extended part of my body. As you can see, I've got another leg coming in, so I need to create another mask. So I'm just gonna draw this mask over here. Now you just want to keep repeating this process over and over again for the entire duration that the person is in front of the text. And then once you're happy with the look of that, you just want to go into mask feather on your masks and you want to pull the feather down to 0% because as you can see at 10%, which is the default, you get this blur around the edge of the subject and that's not what we want. So we're just going to pull that down to zero, go to the other mask, pull that down to zero as well. And now if we zoom out, we'll go to fit. We play that back. As you can see, our subject is perfectly jumping over the text. And there you go. That is how you add text behind somebody right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you enjoyed watching this video or if you feel like you just learned something, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, I will see you on the next video. See you there.